welcome back to another video if you're watching me for the first time today my name is betsy you're welcome kindly subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos and to my returning subscribers thanks so much for the support and welcome back to another video I hope with the title of this video you all know what it's about to go down oh my god let's get right into today's video so there was a time i made i made a video talking about me using all cocoa butter products and if there is any you guys want me to do a review on you can let me know and in the comment section someone was asking me about brownstone and i kind of written a short note giving my own review of that product and later on she went to use it and came back she used it with a sister and came back with a whole lot of reviews saying a whole lot of things so i decided to do a video to kind of address that and also if there is anyone wanting to use bronze stone you decide whether to use it or not on my channel i do honest reviews i try creams products etc and i give honest reviews i don't talk about products i have no idea of like i have no idea about either i use it a close relative uses it or something and even that i still try as much as possible to use this product myself before I give reviews on them. So this is how far I read my skin. Just for you guys. You know. So yes. There was a year. Throughout that year. It was a cocoa butter year for me. Just like I was saying. This 2020 is a year of organic products. 2020 and beyond. Now we are in for organic products. You know. So I used cocoa butters. I've used almost all. If not all. Because I don't know. If there is maybe any other, I have no idea of. So even if not all, I have used almost all cocoa butter products. I have quite a number of cocoa butter reviews on my channel. You can check them out, and you know. So brownstone is a product I have used before. Um, an auntie of mine is still using it up to date, and guys, she's very dark in complexion. There, there are no changes in her skin, no lightening effects, no toning effects, nothing. Her black complexion is still there, looking all flawless and just smooth. The scent of this cream is what got me attracted to it the first day I decided to buy it. The smell is really wow, guys. You feel like eating it. <laughs> the cocoa butter is so intense. The cocoa butter smell is so intense that this cream smells so nice. Brownstone, I have the picture on the screen for those of you who don't know what brownstone is. So... You know a lot of people complain i got a lot of reviews after her review a few others also commented yes yeah, some even sent me dms on instagram talking about this brownstone product they kind of talked like their own effect was different from mine and yet comparing what they talk about to my own experience it's almost kind of the same just that i had i used it a bit differently from the way they did so i'm here to give my own review on this product Brownstone, I would say it's a product good for all skin types, depending on your own, your, your type of skin. A friend bought Brownstone, she's kind of dark brown, and then she noticed a bit of toning. And my auntie, like I said, is really dark and no changes in her skin. So it depends on the kind of skin you have. Otherwise, Brownstone is good for any skin type. But what you guys should know is that it tones over time. That's for sure. But it still depends on the kind of skin you have. Let's say you are kind of you are a bit fairer or uh, kind of brownie or something. With time, you notice a, a toning effect. Dark people, I know a lot of dark people who use brown stone and they are still the same. So people have hard skin and there are people who have really soft and light skin. So any any little product, even just a mere cocoa butter on their skin, lightens them up. So you know the kind of skin you have and you choose the kind of product that would be good for your skin type. So brown stone, like I was saying, is good for all skin types. For dark, for brown, for fair skin, any kind of skin. Depending on how you use it. This product says no hydroquinone, but to, to the best of my knowledge, I think this product has a hidden ingredient we don't know about. I've done all the research I could do and every page says no hydroquinone. But looking at how this cream is or what it does to the skin, I think there is a hidden lightning ingredient that has not been mentioned in the ingredients. Although I see honey and 
stearic acid and the rest i didn't see any hydroquinone or whatever it is so they say no hydroquinone but this cream when used over time tones your skin and the, that the, the the complaints i do get most is it's causing sunburn and extremely dark knuckles to a lot of people what i'll say is that dark knuckle is sure with a lot of lightning creams because you know most of these creams after usage you need to wash your hands yes you wash your hands and if you notice especially myself the reason i said i use i used it differently from how they use it is because when i use any cocoa butter product alone on my skin it gives me chest back and face at me so especially cocoa butter product i mix them with some sort of essential oil to make them a bit runny and all of that because this brownstone cocoa butter is really thick its consistency is really thick and it clogs my pores and all of that and i'm sure uh, anybody who has large or large pores or oily skin would have a problem using brownstone because it's really thick and it's going to clog your pores so when using brownstone make sure to use exfoliating soaps that will really remove the dirt out of your skin pores and then make your skin pores make you not have a breakout and all of that it has it comes with a soap but the soap is not exfoliating enough that's one thing i'll say so you get a real organic black soap or something to exfoliate your skin while using brownstone cocoa butter one thing that didn't make me get all the dark knuckles you people are complaining about is because I wash my hands immediately after using brownstone because even when you eat like after applying that lotion and you don't wash your hands and you just eat like you wash your hands just with some clean water with no soap and all of that and you begin to eat you can feel the taste of the cream on your fingers that is why with any cream I, I advise that when you apply your creams you wash your hands immediately and then moisturize your hand with any hand cream or shea butter just any raw shea butter or oil to moisturize your hands to prevent the sunburns because your hands you have softer parts of your hands and you have the bony and jointed areas so definitely if you are using a toning or lightening cream it's surely going to lighten the softer areas soft and moist areas and that can the bony areas. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Even when you are using a lightning product, don't you notice your knees and toes and all that take time to lighten up? So that is just what happens to your hands. That's why you get the, knuck -knuck the dark knuckles. Because this cream has the ingredients that can lighten or tone your skin up, it's going to start by toning the lighter and softer and moist part of your fingers leaving the hard areas that is why you get the dark knuckles so i advise you wash uh, the product of your hands after apply application you wash the product of your hand and moisturize with just any any hand cream a nice hand cream or oil or shea butter moisturize your hands with to prevent the product from working on your fingers and giving you all the bad dark knuckles and when using bronze stone product I advise you use a sunscreen avoid exposing your skin so much to sunlight because definitely over time especially if you have a light skin your skin isn't strong enough you have a light tough skin on your face and exposure to sunlight is going to cause you sunburn because like i said this product i think or no i'm sure has a certain chemicals that is able to tone your skin over time so i advise you go out, out with your sunscreens on anytime you apply, apply bronze stone wash your hands wash the product of your hands and use just um, a normal oil or um, a normal oil or hand cream to moisturize your hands when going out to have to avoid all this dark knuckles and sunburns that you get all the time but why when you start using this product and you notice any adverse reaction i would advise that you stop this is not a professional advice whatsoever to encourage you to use or not to use bronze stone this is my experience with bronze stone i'm sharing with you guys so now it's up to you looking at your own skin type to decide whether to use bronze stone or not so i hope i have been able to address this issue on bronze stone and my own experience with it i've been able to address this issue so before you think of using bronze stone watch this video all over again and listen to exactly what i said wash your hands after use use it use it alongside um
a very good oil or serum because it's thick and can clog your pores use exfoliating soap and exfoliate your skin while using bronze to go out with your sunscreen don't expose your skin to sunlight so i hope this video is really helpful if you find it helpful food if you find this really helpful, please thumbs up the video, leave your comment down below if you have used Brownstone and your experience with it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions to ask and also make video requests. I'm always looking up to that. Make video requests and anything you request guys, I'll make sure to come up with a video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one.